today we are going to talk about how to have uh, an Exoplan Exocad project for immediate loading and in this particular video I'm going to tell you what's the secrets of uh, designing working and perfect seating single immediate crown for an implant okay first of all we are going to exoplan which is implant planning which is antagonist and save it okay uh, it needs the meshes and antagonist meshes uh, i will add the antagonist meshes in this case we are going to have a uh, screw retained uh, sorry a screw mintable uh, custom abutment case uh, so uh, I will tell you when you should select the uh, proper indication for uh, custom abutment okay we check the city the city is perfect uh, it's a little bit small uh, I prefer the big cities but the small cities have higher resolution and uh, in this case the resolution is so crucial for us so when we are ready we are choosing CT to mesh and in this case I have uh, a scan of cast uh, I prefer intraoral scan by myself but in this case we have the cast the scan it says well do you want to have additional floating parts uh, I say no because uh, I want to just put it on uh, the patient's cast and uh, I let the best fit works and it works like charm it's beautifully put the uh, cast and city aligned of course you can change it and manually align it but uh, in most cases in uh, if the city and scans are uh, prepared according to standards you have no problem with that okay we can segment the sinuses but because this uh, city is uh, not complete we can't do it properly here so uh, we skip it now we should put the teeth it's so important mesial and distal or gingival part in case that you don't have the uh, neighboring teeth choose mesial and distal in case that sorry in case that you don't have them use the gingival positioning in case that you have the adjacent teeth use the mesial and distal okay so I put a test, it's of course a little big for this space, but uh, the space is also bigger than uh, what it should be. Uh, okay, we are going to change the proportions and put the test in proper uh, relation to other teeth. It's number two, four, and then we are going to choose the implant. In this case, we are going to choose SIC implants and SIC max in this case okay uh, which is 4.2 diameter and 11.5 length but as you can see it uh, it needs sinus lift and uh, depend on the surgeon's decision we could change this we could change uh, the other views and uh, I prefer the implant cross sections because you can change the cross sections and choose the best position of implant and uh, I prefer not to have open sinus lift because we are going to do immediate loading and maybe uh, this gives us the lower result okay I put the implant in mesodistally and buccolingual in proper position and I have uh, enough space between the implant and adjacent teeth so when I'm happy with the positioning and angulation I can proceed uh, in this case we already need a 
closed sinus lift, but it's far easier than the open sinus lift, and it's far safer. And because we have uh, lots of bone contact, we are sure that we have proper amount of bone contact and good insertion torque. Okay, in this case, I prefer uh, surgical stent with the sleeves 5.2 millimeters because uh, the spoon that we are using is 5 millimeter and 0.2 millimeters is offset that ensure us that the spoon is sitting completely inside the, our sleeve. Okay. So when I'm happy with the planning, I'm continue with results and uh, now I'm done with the planning part. The next part is how to design surgical guide because we have uh, first step surgery and then the prosthesis comes after that. Okay, we have a sleeve and we have uh, some resin acrylic uh, beside that. I need point to offset for undercuts. Uh, I want to be sure that the surgical guide will sit. Uh, in case that I allow the undercut, the surgical guide has kind of retention, but maybe in some uh, examples it doesn't allow to uh, allow the surgical guide to sit completely. So I prefer point zero a uh, zero and I prefer 2.5 for this case for the thickness and in most cases uh, I need a window this window helps me to check whether uh, the guide sits completely or not and as you can see in this case I'm going to uh, add text because when you are doing lots of cases uh, you may miss which one is the one that you should use uh, in the surgery and when you have something written on it it's far easier for find which one is the right one okay you can reform it in case that you need perform that or you can final it and proceed to prosthesis okay so I'm happy with everything and the implant part is almost done with the good results now we should proceed to the next step